and then walk this, across the middle and don't look. This gets a bit more scary. Ah, they never got stung in the 80s by the cavity wall insulation, folks. <laughs> So that was the staircase that we came up and then that looks like what was this like a drain of some sort walk this, across the middle and don't look this gets a bit more scary i don't like this i don't, I don't like, like that they've got the ladder here i prefer this to the other one i don't like this just look down and go for it look down and go for it look down and go for it i didn't like that viewers i had a profile picture of sitting in that hole did you did you get up there now Oh, we climbed up there, fell up. Yeah, I climbed up there, didn't I? So yeah. If you were storing meat over there, maybe that's not that far to bring in. If it was all railings, I imagine they had railings and it wasn't just a scary yeah. look down and walk forwards. It's <laughs> <laughs> a key feature. Yeah, definitely a kitchen. Because that looks like a pantry because it's got the concrete. Yeah. Again, the council house I grew up in had a concrete pantry like just like that. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, vents in it. What tiles? Oh. Survived, didn't they? Yeah, they're nice then. Yeah, most of the breakages are where, like the sink and things have been removed. So it would have been a big Belfast in there, I think. Cause they haven't really skimmed, scrimped because there's a what are these tiles? Terracotta tiles, but they're two knuckles deep, which I'll do a engineering measurement on. And I'll put that on screen now, how thick they are. Don't go wrong, that. Yeah, and this has had the paint on it again. So if that was the kitchen, are we saying that this was the dining hall? And do we think that that hole used to be a serving hatch and it's just been smashed bigger? Do you know, I just assume someone smashed a hole in the wall. Yeah. You might be onto something, because there, look. You see, yeah. Oh yeah, square. And is that a lintel above it? Like a concrete lintel? Maybe. Yeah, there. What's that? Looking at the worrying cracks, I would, I would say that they didn't bother with a lintel. They could have just put a wooden frame in if it's small. Bricked it and when they bricked it, they built things that fast. They put the wooden frames... They just bricked around them. Bricked around them, yeah. Because so it was never built to last, was it really? No. That's why the door casings weren't tied in. Like there, the door casing. They hung the door casing whilst the mortar was still wet. Yeah. It all just soaked and sucked together. Oh, I see some electrical cable in there. Oh, yeah. What's fascinating is the conduit nowadays is still the same, yeah. but it's just metric, the threads are metric, whereas those will be imperial in there. And they've plastered the ceiling. So I'm pretty sure this was a dining hall. It makes sense, nice and bright, quite big. Yeah, lots of windows. They didn't really go crazy on windows in World War II type things, did they? No. So that is Martello Tower. Yep. From that era. Then it's World War I. And the concrete above that's all whiting out. There we are, look. So that, are we saying that's World War I as well? I'm not sure. Because mm. there's World War I gun emplacement. Alright folks, another Hello. Level. There's a staircase here. Oh, I just want to come in. Yeah. Hi. Right. <laughs> it's all the concrete bit. Is that all World War Two? This. The bit above. Must be. Yeah. Uh, Would have been a nightmare to scaffold this. Yeah. yeah and all the pipework and the system would have been on there. High level system. Toilet. Painted eggshell blue again. Yeah, I don't usually film the toilets, but they're just part of the story. Yeah, part of the story, yeah, you can't beat a bug, folks. So I'm thinking this was a mess deck where people slept. Yeah. But this is exactly what I was thinking, because they had to sleep somewhere. Yeah. And I'll assume that they had like probably two crews or something. Yes. So one crew would sleep and one crew would work. 
Yeah, just do 12 about or no, 6 no. about. I mean, just notice that bridge isn't as thick as it looks. Look. It's amazing it's the strength of concrete. At least, you know, that rebar's nice there. There isn't a big crack in this corner. You can almost see the shuttering below it as well. Yeah. I love it when you can look and you can see like the grain. Well, there's a bit of the original floor in there, a bit of skating board. Yeah. A pair of socks. And then a pipe wow. above for the heating. So this is our heating and radiators because there's a radiator mount there just to the right yeah. of the end. I bet the window looks clean. I wonder what this looks like. That's look quite good. I reckon it was alright. Yeah. So right, and they had lots of hot drinks, constant fuel for the fires. Because these would have had a priority. I think we're spending more talk about the graffiti than anything else. Yeah, so we'll come down the stairs. So we're I'm just going to say that, if you look at those stairs, yes. you can see it's been painted a couple of times. Oh yeah, different colours. There's been like a red. Which is, I, I never really understand that, because they weren't in use for very long in World War Two. No. Did you just have somebody on site continuously painting things different colours? Yeah, because you I have mean, nothing to do. Wall. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll paint the hallway today. Talking of painting, they've actually painted the steps as well. Or oh, did it yeah. have carpet? Because there's edging. Oh, as yeah. if it's had something That's on it. painted. They painted it, yeah. It's getting windier. Yeah. Yeah. Might just make sure the windier corner. Yeah, you've got a shower in there. So that, yeah. well, that would... Oh, another shoe! That would lead me to think that this is sleeping. That's eating. That's sleeping. Yeah. Yes. Because shower, you know. I mean, if this was manned by the army, it was probably quite grim. But if it was manned by the Royal Air Force, it would have been five star. Five star? Yeah. They didn't, they, the RAF don't mess about. Ooh, it's quite hard getting up ladders in wellies. Yeah. I just all come out here on the bike bike. Or down that road. Yeah. I wonder if they brought big barges out and just let them sit in the mud. You know, a big flat bottom barge with full of material, sail it out, sink, you know, drop it down and then just hoist all the bits up. So Chris and Ian are just going down. Going down. And this is the old water tank room here. So we think there used to be three water tanks in here. One of them is just down there, or there. That's one of the old water tanks. But yeah. we think they used to go yeah. that way. And these pipes at the back is are the overflows for the tanks. So there's one, two, three overflows. And then that is the heating pipes coming up and they sweep round this way and go to here and there would have been a smaller header tank here for the central heating. And that is the water tank room. Going up there in a minute. So keep watching viewers. Right viewers, so that's this area done. The World War II bit as I'm calling it. So it was built in World War II. And it's back to this scary thing here. So it's, look forward to, oh, look, look, look down and just keep walking. Look down and keep walking. Look down and keep walking. I, I don't like that. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Do we think that that, and that bit out there may be the remains of a water tank? Possibly. This, this has got some nice asbestos in this way. Mmm, asbestosy goodness. That's the nice stuff on the, on the tank. Oh, yeah. You can see why people have been pulling bits of it off. Yeah. Right. So we think there used to be a boiler in here? Oh, An addition, yeah, maybe a World War One. Is this the World War One bit again? It is. It get, gets a bit fatty. Yeah, it's the asbestos the good bit. Where have you, how have you just got in there? Is there a door? No, oh, I just materialised. Oh. Ah, oh, sorry, and does it, isn't it? Well, I'm just going to jump down. Yeah, so this looks like it used to be a plant room. That has been a chimney, and there's been a boiler in the chimney, so like a back boiler. Yeah. And that is asbestos, so if you do come out here, don't play with that. Don't lick it. Don't sniff it. So this room, yeah, that's the other room we were in. Yes. So this room would have been the original, and then the big chunks we added in the middle. 
Oh, this is this has been vastly modified over the deck. Oh, stairs don't look so good. No. That's what I see. What I mean about the the, the H beams that like yeah. they look like they've been cut off. So that's why I think maybe there was something ah. like this the other side. And they've removed they it. it. They took it out when they did the World War Two bit. Yes. So it makes me think that them stairs are actually older. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Because I don't know, you know, between World War One and World War Two, was it still upkeep? You know. Yeah. Was it manned? You? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Because there was a lot of restrictions, wasn't there? It's restricted the Germans, haven't we? I think we made a lot of cutbacks because it was like a big depression in the twenties, wasn't it? Mm. Everyone ran out of money. So this is. This just looks like a storeroom. So this, I'm still thinking that in there was like the meat pantry, mm. and this was would have been for dry goods. Could be. So this was like a dry goods pantry. Because I suppose what we're actually missing is, is this is older. That could have been for hanging meat in World War One. Yeah. Then the kitchen bit got built over there in World War Two. This was repurposed. Yeah. You might have just not bothered doing anything about. Just you know, left the hooks in, so it didn't hooks. matter. Yeah. Yeah, just used it as a junior rates mess or Maybe. something. Yeah. Yeah, like a crew room. Because when because they're not firing the guns. Say, over there, there isn't much in the way of sleeping. No. There's only that one floor there. Yeah. yeah. Right one shower, two urinals, one toilet. So there wasn't a great deal of people here. So maybe there's people this side. Yeah. Maybe like you said, you've got the officers this side and like the scum pass over there. Yes, that would make a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, we ain't going up those stairs. A bit broken. You can go up that side bit, but I, I suggest we just walk round. No, I'll just walk round, I don't fancy that at side? all. Yeah, right. Battery, what's it off is? Ah! I think I've seen this on one of your videos from a long time ago. It used well, to have. Turns, turns out it was 2016. According and to it my used mind. to say, this used to have some sign writing on it. Yeah, battery office or something. And that is long gone. So it used to be all about here, was it? Here. Here. Oh, oh yeah, no. sorry, I can see it now. Yeah. Is that exposing the viewers? Yeah, I think so. Got a pentagram with a nasty swastika in it. What? I think more about the, the, the lovely piles of poo everywhere. Really? Mm. It's a bit grim in here. Oh, I'm not going in there. It's a room. It's a, it's a battery room. It's a room, battery room. Or well, battery room. office. So we'll do it to be who's, who's in charge of the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Is it that way next? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Up, up we go. Up, up and away. Touch the rail on the outside. No, so that's a bit rusty. It's worse. They used to say on Warship, don't touch the handrails. Okay. Yeah. What, just because they fell off? Yeah, I think so. So they're ready use lockers for a gun. I can see that. So are we going, are we turning right uh, here? Yeah, you can see how much more square and true the World War II bit is to this. Yeah. So this is, I don't know what this is, just a room. Uh, oh, I've seen this on many a video, this area. This is where they all have barbecues and things, isn't yes. it? Simon slept up there. Did he? Loads of beer and then slept up there. Can't wait up there. Yeah. Mr. Subax. That's the hoist at the top of it. Quite good. Ah! The weapon hoist. Wonder how many people have climbed in there. Yeah. That's quite a view, that, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look in there, viewers. Quite a nice rubbish. Yeah, people chucking rubbish down it. Crazy. Oh, this, this is nice though, sitting up here, tide comes in, you know, gets even. Yeah, I want more water. I've got about half a couple of water left and no food. So, no not, food. To, not today. Another sock. Some people just come out of here, they go home with no socks. No, no, it's quite strange that, yeah. Where have your socks gone? Oh no, I can't remember. So there's a ready use locker. Oh, the, yeah. The other one that gets me is the one shoe. Yeah, there's always a shoe. shoe. There's always a tyre. How do you go home and like, oh, I've lost and the shoe. And then you go to plastic pants. <laughs>
Yes, yeah, so that's where the gun rotated on. And this was a World War One gun emplacement. I think that's the World War One, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So the centre of the gun was there. That was a big gun. You can see it. It probably was a naval gun, yeah. The 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 Admiralty realised in the early days of the Second World War that guns on warships weren't really working out so good. And right. were, that's because the ship does this in the water, yeah. isn't it? So you're Battle, trying to fly the day. So they went to light cruisers, frigates, and that made a lot of availability of guns. So they put them on what I'd call a shore base, like this gun battery. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And these are the rails that the gun used to rotate on. <laughs> oh, yeah, we saw that earlier. Oh yeah. Many things. No. Oh yeah. That looks like an axle or something over there. Yeah. This yes. must have been pretty complete. Oh yeah. Intact. Yeah. Yeah, the MOD used to when they shoot an army base, they'll do lots and lots of rounds, so it's spick and span, really clean and tidy, then they'll just abandon it. Yeah. And I think we're going up there next. So, Let's on go. this corner here, it's held up with a acro prop. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, a while back, wasn't it? Yeah, safe as houses. I'm not a fan of heights, either. I'm not massively keen. There is not much concrete there. No. I'm not massively keen on heights myself, if I'm honest. I'd, I'd be fine with a lookout tower at this height. I think this is fine. So this is our shutters, hasn't it, that yeah. were square? So they must have opened like locker doors. They'd have gone down, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. And then... A bit like the Asda van. Yeah. With some form of cable. Yeah, counterweights. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the little hoist bits for the counterweights. Oh, so that would have been. So the would doors. Would that have been a type of like window, and then you'd have had you had the shutters out here, the metal oh, sorry. ones. Sorry, sorry. The metal ones came up on the outside, didn't they? The top ones were the metal shutters outside. Yeah, so the metal shutters would lay on here. Oh, all right, lift okay. Up. Yeah. So would this have been like glass? Would this have been glazed so you could? See through it, big windows, and then drop the panel down should you need to. Yeah. I don't know, there was a lot of work put into opening the windows. Was this for observation then? <laughs> observation tower, yeah. They didn't fight from these because there's no well, this is why, why do you, if that was a window, why you open I'm not sure. No, I'm not. Unless you had shutters on the inside and the outside, but that seems unlikely. Yeah. London bricks, viewers. London Brick. What? What does that say? B H O R P A E E S. I think that says. Look at this side. Look hinge here. Hinge there. Oh yeah. Come up. Bolted. Oh, yeah. Something substantial went down on a hinge yeah. and came back up on Which these is hinges. Laying down the ah yeah, there is a lot of black pieces. There's one. I don't think it's still there. There was one. Oh, right. It makes me think something else is going on in here. Yes. Yeah. I just think it's got to be glazed. Or should be standing in observation for eight hours. You're going to get cold, yeah, because it's a warm day and there is a wind chill today. And then maybe that was so you could drop this down so you could do your shutter up. Otherwise, yes. you couldn't do your shutter up because there's a window in there. Of course. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, just for observing. And then there's a... 
another one above so let's have a look at that it has been electrical lighting obviously just a dull dull one of them red lights that they had and then there's been all fitted out with possibly radios there communication with the HQ room which I've not really found we haven't identified an optery yet have we unless that was up here I don't like them. No? The railings are actually better up here than they are halfway though. I won't be happy if the outer railings were missing. Nah. Makes more sense. Ah. So there's your shutter. And there's your, there's your bit for glazing. Yes. And there's your wood that holds the glass in. Right. Yeah. So these have been glazed. It's not below this, is it? I think the floor... Yeah, the floor here. was where your feet are. That was a finished floor height. On the metal. And then this has had one of them big bearing compasses on it to get a bearing. So it's distance and bearing to enemy ships or enemy aircraft. Yeah. Off this. Oh. So this would have been. Oh, this is high. I was looking for any sort of vintage or original graphics on anything, but it all looks to have been faded. It's probably been beaten up here with weather. There's some original paint, and it's got the the browny red below, and then the blue above. Uh, can't see any sign writing on the door, but it'd be on the other side, so I'll have, a, I'll have a quick look at that. But a lot of military places like this, all the people know what everything is, so they don't actually write on the door what each room is. No, they can't. That's, that's a very valid point. Yeah, so that is a substantial. And then it's been underlit as well, so they've had a light in this. So it's come up there, and then the the compass has been lit from underneath, just just very dull, very, very small indicescent lamp. You used to call them there, uh, pygmy lamps. Right. I never really knew why. They call them a pygmy lamp, so that'll just be illuminated ever so slightly, just so the operator can see the bearing. And then that would have been reported to the headquarters, wherever that was. Now, just looking above, there's, there's a V, there's a line coming across there, and the line going across there. Now what would that have been for? Was this separate? Was this bit separate? Was this so we could have a light on in this bit and then all that was in full blackout, maybe. So it separated yeah, it into yeah, two curtains, rooms. Or curtains like blackout, blackout curtains, yeah. yeah. It looks to me that this paint on either side, so it looks to me like whatever if it was a wall it could have been painted. So it looks like it would be something. It could just do one more, couldn't it? Like a false wall. Yeah. Have strength. No. Yeah, because it does. It gets to you. You know, if you're in total darkness for, say, if you're up here for an eight hour shift, being in total darkness for all that time, it, it gets you, it drains you. Mm. So if you're doing that eight on eight off for weeks, it, it doesn't do good things to you. You know, your mind, it starts. Yeah. Well, um, so they maybe had curtains so they could be behind here with oh, a tiny light. I didn't think of that. It could just be a baton with some curtains or something that simple. Like baton with curtains, yeah, blackout curtains. So they could be behind here. Because everybody smoked back then, lighting matches. You know, it's a, if you think of how dark it would have been, if you struck a match in here, how far that match would have been able to be seen from. So yeah, curtains and then they sort of did the smoking and drinking tea back here. Tea. Tea. Shoe. Shoe. Another, uh, Another random shoe. We'd we'll see where there's been shoe. electrical and things like bonded into the wall here. Like the wooden stakes that they've put in when they've cast the concrete, put wooden stakes in. So then you can screw into that or nail into that and then put cupboards on the wall. Because you're not going to screw and plug into that. Not back in them days with a hand drill. Take some. Oh, sorry. Go on. That door is seized. 
Yeah, it used to. When we slipped it, it swung in the wind. It does move a bit. The top hinge is snapped, mate, so I'd be careful. Oh. Yeah, another door. Another door gone. Let's see the shot that's gone as well. Regional shot. Yeah. Not now. I'm really honest, there's not much holding at the top of this up. Yeah. They're actually turn screws. Yeah. To turn screw in to hold the glass up. Yeah. I think they're, they're like the same below. Yeah. Wow. That is a long way up to be fair. It's a good five stories up that, isn't it? It's a high one. Yeah. To it's go a great down. time to look down, isn't it? I've discovered it isn't a good time to look down at all. Have you seen the bit here? <laughs> the the really yeah. That's concerning. Yeah, that's that, the... That bit. That's just the rebar that holds the stairs together. Yeah. Yeah. It's all over-engineered though, isn't it? So it's all Hopefully right. so, yes. See, that tower on there looks quite modern. It's a weird that bit, isn't it? Yeah. It seems to be just... I wonder if this is the way they got the staircase has been built. It's just... They wanted it at a certain height, so it's just an odd bit of... Yeah, this has just been... Dead space. Yeah, they just haven't done anything with it. Really? Oh, just a void. Well, before they put the roof on there, they, this was it, and then they put works in it a bit more. Yeah, let's go higher. Yeah. Some more concrete. Just keep going. Yeah. Well, it's just like Lego, isn't it? When you're building a Lego tower out of Lego, you keep building until you run out of bricks. Yeah. Not quite sure the war ministry did that, but that's what I would have done. Wow, that's a journey. Yeah, I'm pleased I'm not actually on that bit anymore. I'm also pleased I don't have to go over that. Scary don't look like don't look down bit. That bit. We don't have to go over there again, do we? No. Ah, good, good, good. I didn't like that, if I'm no, honest. I didn't like that. This bit puzzled me. Just here, Chris. There's like a gully. Oh. And then trying. that. What's that for? Hmm. It's weird, isn't it? So there's like metal bits. See, that screams drain pipe, gutter. Ah, guttering. So just guttering into that. Maybe just into that, and that kept the water in there enough that it then drained away. Uh, because yeah. I've just thought you don't want it to go splash, 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 and go down the stairs, because that's just going to be annoying. Yeah, because that's, I think that's what it is, because that looks like a bit of it there. Yeah, so it's been a fall pipe. Yeah. Oh, right. Down, down we, we go, go. Folks. Down, down, down. There's only one staircase that comes up, isn't there? Yeah, it is granite though. If you had a big house and you had one staircase and it was made out of granite, still you're sort of showing off point. Yeah. I wasn't like marking it down as a hotel because it's only got one staircase. Ah. I'm alright with that. But there is a missing star off your grading. It's only got four out of five, isn't it? I think it was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, a bit drafty. Yeah. See, that has been a big electrical incomer there. That's been where all the cables came in. Oh, wow. That's what they are. They're all, they look like vulcanised rubber cables. So that's where all the power came in. This is our power, and that's a cable duct there. Yeah, the War Ministry frame. I don't understand this, but I was in that water tank I mean, well, just... Up to go down? No, I don't really oh, understand yeah. that. I'll show you the hickories. Yeah, there's still more Martello tower bits to go in, isn't there? Wow. That's mad, isn't it? It's like slate. It's a slate, it's a slate water tank. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen a slate water tank. And there's a toilet. Cistern toilet. Oh yeah. Someone else has left some more rubbish. Yeah. Litter. 
But we thought it was like um, iron, didn't we, at first? Like, take the weight of that off my spine for a moment. But yeah, that's a slate water tank. That's definitely a new one for me. And they've got to be brass, haven't they, to a gold ring? Something like that. Copper. Copper? Yeah, copper fittings. Yeah. Copper and lead solder, probably. Oh, yeah. Bond it all together. Yeah, that's lead solder in there. Just in the so that has been the toilet, that is the ensuite facilities of the Martello what Tower Park. Hmm. When the Martello Tower was built? I don't know. Why is the steps? And the steps go up and then oh, down? No. I'm not I sure. Know, Chris. No. <laughs> I don't know. Have we done all the bits in here? Done everything mate, yeah. Yeah. That oh. is it's food time. Food time. And what's this grain tower? Grain tower battery. Battery. Grain tower battery. 1850. I reckon it's about 1855. Mm -hmm. 1855. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you know that so well, Chris? Because it's on the door. Oh yeah. Right there, viewers. 1855. Something else I've just noticed. You know we said about the angle of these stairs? Yeah. Look at this. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, the hoop. That's where your boat's to. Oh, wow, so and they put the stairs in front of it. Sunk. Yeah, but has that not sunk to the point of... It would probably clear with that. Yeah. That, I'll have to look at the footage back, but I'm pretty sure that moved when you sort of bounced on it. I think it moved. Yeah, it does, yeah. That's moving, isn't it? And it's going on that I central... I don't remember it being quite so point. bad at the very top. No, I don't, when you went up there. Yeah. I mean, because we went up this last time. Which Do you mould into this? Younger. It was rippled. Probably lighter, too. Yeah. I'm just amazed at the size of that shackle that joins that chain together. Yeah. The way it just goes through the concrete here. So, that was Grain Tower Battery. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Check out Ian's channel. Hello. Uh, and check out Instagram and Facebook. And all that jazz. And uh, why not watch this video next? Bye for now.